Hello everybody, God bless you. Shalom to you, praise the Lord. I'm happy to be here sharing the word of God with you again today. If you're new on the platform, Samuel E. Molombe is my name, I'm the man God uses. Welcome today in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So this person, this person has left you, but he's still spying on you. This person doesn't like you, but they are still spying on you. They dislike you, but they are still spying on you. That's crazy. <laughs> I realized that the people who check up on you the most are the people who supposedly don't like you. They're always back and forth on your social media, want to know what you're all about want to know what you're doing right now who are you talking to what did you buy recently um where are you traveling to what's going on with your kids <coughs> excuse me they are all up in your business if someone doesn't want to be with you why do they keep looking and you must recognize when you become bigger than people. That's a sign that you are bigger than them. Right? That's a sign that you are bigger than them. What you carry is bigger than them. Who you are is bigger than them. Don't, don't, don't ask yourself, why, why can't they just leave me alone and move on? No. They are stuck up in your past. A while ago, I dropped a prophetic word on this platform. <clears throat> Excuse me. I dropped a prophetic word on this platform. And the word said, you know, the people from your hometown can't get over, uh, can't get over you, can't get over your growth, or can't get over what God is doing in your life. Right? And I got a lot of feedbacks from that prophetic word. So when I, when I received this, I remember that and I was like, yeah, this is similar. This is exactly what God is saying. And that they, they are all up in your business, right? Looking at what you're doing right now. Where are you right now? What, what is happening? Did you get a new dress? Did you get a new house? Are your kids going to the same school? They, they are stuck. They cannot, they can't seem to they can't seem to understand the new levels that God has brought you in. How do you manage these things? They don't know. They can't explain it. So they are trying to get answers on your social media. They are trying to get answers on your, your you know, what you post, the things that you say. They are trying to go back to your past. They are trying to contact people to see if they are, they are up to date with you to know what you're, you're, you're doing. I love what the Lord says. The Lord says you will continue to be a mystery to them because before they master one level, He has risen you ten times more. Before they understand what is going on in, with your life, He has taken you even further and He has given you better. Is that not wonderful? So they will all. You are like they are, they are, You are like an institution to them. Right? They are students of your life. They will always be running behind trying to understand the move of God in your life. Imagine if God gave opportunity um, for your enemies to actually be ahead of you, for them to know you know exactly what you're doing, for them to know exactly what you are about to do. The way they hate you and they will even try to corrupt what they don't understand. Then think about what if they understood and they knew exactly you know, what you were up to. That is why I keep telling you Satan is not all-knowing. Satan does not know what you're thinking. He does not know what you're planning. Right? How does he know? Through the instrumentality of agents. Agents that convey information to him there's only one supreme being on the earth that is all-knowing and that's god almighty god almighty knows what you're thinking he's omnipotent he's omnipresent he's omniscient but satan is not demons are not so they don't know they don't know what your plan is so they only get to know your plan when you speak it out right when you tell people i want to do this i want to do that never tell people your plans let your result 
speak. May they, they, they should just see what you've done. That way you are always one step ahead of them. I noticed one thing. When I stopped telling my friends about my plans, my enemies were not updated about the things I was going to do. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a serious, I'll leave that for you to crack. When I stopped telling my friends about my plans, I noticed my enemies had nothing. Because you see, people are interconnected. This person tells this person, who tells this person, who tells that person. And before you know it, your business is all over the place, right? And then you begin to give them opportunities to get in and destroy what they can destroy. But if you walk in silence, you know, the Bible says something about that. If you, if you permit me, I will show you. When I read this scripture for the first time, I was like, oh my God, the Bible is, the Bible is a book of answers, right? The Bible is a book of answers. Let me get this scripture for you. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 and verse 5. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 and verse 5. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 and verse 5, the Bible says that as, as thou knowest not what is the way of the spirit, nor how the bones do grow in the womb of her that is with child, even so thou knowest not the works of God who make it all. I, I, I wish to read that to you in another translation. Let me see if I can get it. In a newer translation for you. Let me see if I can get it in a newer translation. Let me read it from the NIV. The Bible says, As you do not know the path of the wind, or how the body is formed in a woman's womb, so you cannot understand the work of God, the maker of all things. You see how God works? You see how God operates? You, you, you can't tell where the wind is coming from and where the wind is going to, right? Of course, they try to create devices that can be able to show you, oh, this is the direction of the wind. But you cannot tell. You just stand and you just feel it. He says, so is the way of God. You see how God operates? And if you are a child of God, you are supposed to be that way. Nobody should be able to, you should be unpredictable. Your next move should not be up on everyone. It's not it be everyone's business, right? If, if you show people your bakery, they're going to, they're going to, where the bakery where you get your bread, they will burn up that bakery to make sure you don't get any bread. Right? But let them just, let them, let them be shocked. Let, you should continually be a mystery to them. So well, this is God's way of letting you know that they are up, they are all up in your business, um, but you are one step ahead of them. You will always be ahead of them. You will all, not one step. You will always be ahead of them. A hundred steps. A thousand steps ahead of them. I want you to declare in faith that God has put me ahead and above. God has put me ahead. God has put me above. As you declare that in faith in the comment section, God will continually sustain you ahead. You know, I like the scripture that the, the, the psalmist David was saying that the Lord has made him wiser than his teachers. The Lord can make you more braver than your enemies. The Lord can make you better than them. The Lord can put you ahead so that you are not subjective to them. You're not subjective to what they think of you. You are just ahead, right? They are behind. They are backbiting behind because they are the back. You are their topic because you are on top, right? When you are on top, you become their topic. They can't, they can't say nothing else, just you, because you are the happening thing. I pray that the Lord bless you. I pray that the Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine on you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Do you receive this prophetic word with gladness? Family, do not forget to subscribe. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please kindly subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell when you do. and Give this video a thumbs up. You'll be part of our community. God bless you. I love you. And I'll be in the comment section to see all the ways that you know the lord 
is confirming his word in your life just let me know that you're watching let me know exactly what god is doing in your life through this prophetic word and let's pray together the lord bless you i love you and shalom